We work with Just Transition to a greener and more sustainable construction sector out of the perspectives of what does it need to include? And currently, I, I want to bring five topics uh, forward today, and that is that a just transition relies on the social dialogue between governments, employers and workers organizations, because otherwise we will not overcome barriers, realize opportunities and potentials to deliver innovation, which is what our sector needs. I think we've seen this in some examples of what our unions already do. In Australia, we have a campaign called the New Normal, where the union helped the city to electrify buildings and improve efficiencies and solar panels. And we have similar um, innovation projects in Italy when it comes to retrofits of schooling, where the U union and the workers work together with the city and the employers to see where, where can we change our methods. I think also it's very important to highlight that we need to ensure that the transition also delivered training, green skills development and employment support programs for workers. Because studies show currently that investing in renovations and retrofitting buildings and green infrastructure projects like housing and healthcare facilities could create up to 100 million jobs by 2030. But this is utmost conditional on the investment in skills development because the shortages of skills could make sure that we couldn't do the transitions we want to achieve. Then we also lift that social protection as a human might, right is essential to when we discuss just transition. It is in the heart of any just transition process um, as a sustainable and comprehensive shock responsive social protection system is fundamental for cushioning the effect of climate change for construction workers, their families and the communities against climate related impacts. And we see that it should help support climate resilience and facilitate in the implementation of climate change mitigation responses as well. And finally, I just want to lift, because I know I'm out of time already, that we need to ensure that macroeconomic and industrial and sectorial policies also take the workers into account. So, for example, we've seen that recovery efforts from the COVID pandemic has really uh, pushed for significant infrastructure investments, which could regenerate the momentum of change and the sectorial transformation we need. But we need to ensure that the stimulus packages create and deliver decent jobs and not only uh, environmental changes. So I think that's where I need to conclude. But of course, there's so many topics to mention. And I just want to finally say that this is a once in a generation lifetime. We've never seen as much investments into infrastructure. And we need to make sure that this also goes hand in hand with social and skills retraining uh, support programs. Thanks.